Hello you lovely people. Here we are again aboard Bebop and today we'll be um, putting some uh, resin putty in the butt joint for this section, getting it lined up and in place and then doing the same for the door lintel out of shot above. Um, and then it will be um, one last trim around so that I can get a good flush fit to the cockpit floor and the top sides and uh, the tabbing line and all that sort of stuff and then glass back and front and then putty and screw the damn thing in place. So a lot to do. So the starboard shoulder is now resined in. Another 10-15 minutes that will be set hard enough for me to work around it. And the next job on the list is to resin in the uh, door frame inserts into the Nidoplast panels and the um, door lintel across the top. Um, that's going to take probably another half hour to do that and then I will be glassing the outside surface of the bulkhead. So I'm going to skip filming doing the thickened resin around the door frame and lintel and um, save my battery and my SD card capacity for the unmitigated chaos that will be applying fiberglass to an upright surface. So let's go. So, whew, let's get our heads around this, right? This is combination mat chopped on the side facing forward, structured on the side facing aft. And this, of course, is to go on the outside of the bulkhead. So, by cutting it this way around, I can just take it outside, paint this section of the panel with uh, straight resin uh, with. I'm going to say 3% mech, wet it out. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? It's exciting. everybody back again a uh, lot to do today following my <laughs> abject failure last time out I need to uh, just knock back the various fluffy bits of resin that are left on the outside of the bulkhead So that's the exterior of the aft bulkhead knocked back, so there are no more blobs, runs, wispy bits of glass, you know, none of that sort of muck to get in our way or snag up the, the fresh cloth, which I'm about to cut. Never forget what nasty stuff glass is. It's horrible. Still very glassy. Whew. So that's the map cut out. I'm pretty happy with the fit. We can trim from the inside um, if there's a bit of overhang. So now it's time to mix up some delicious resin, get outside, wet the outside of the bulkhead out, wait for it to gel up, stick this stuff on, and then give it a nice drink of fresh resin to hopefully get it to stick in place. But this is gonna be, I suspect, a little bit frantic again. So I'm going to give that about 15 minutes. I've got the glass rolled up behind me. So I'm just going to uh, have a drink of water, wait for it to set up and then chuck the glass on.
Okay, so we're making really good progress today. This uh, this section set up really beautifully. I've just cut out the mat for the uh, starboard shoulder um, and the uh, just that remaining section and below the door and above the door. So I'm going to mix some resin up as soon as this little bit of drizzle has passed. The glass is safely inside. That's not getting damp. So there we go, that's resined in beautifully, more or less exactly 400 mil. Okay dudes, it's gel coat time, it's exciting, it's taken a long time to get to this point. I'm going to do 400 mil of resin, which means 8 mil of mech, because you've got to go at least 2%, so let's get on with it. So what I'm going to do now is uh, oh, what shall I do now while I'm waiting for that to set up? I think I should probably clean up. It's a bit of a mess here, um, but I will also go and stand over there and take some pictures so that we can see what it looks like from a distance. From a distance. From a distance. Oh. Right, well, <laughs> obviously it makes the rest of the boat look absolutely filthy, but it's definitely progress. It's definitely going to need filling and fairing, but I do have some hollow glass spheres on order. I'm going to have to add some white, some more white gel coat to that order. And I think what I will probably do is do one more coat tomorrow and then for the third coat mix in a load of spheres and basically use it as a fairing compound. Now you might be thinking, well, why, why bother with that? Um, why bother putting another coat of gel coat on and then fairing it? Well, you actually need to put gel coat on any bare fiberglass certainly if it's going to be exposed to the elements and really it's best practice to do it anyway because um, certainly poly resin is not permanently watertight um, and especially if your glass has remained a little bit thirsty it will wick up moisture and over time it will delaminate so that's why I want to get more gel coat on the outside of the, the bulkhead sorry this rabbit has just appeared over the other side of the yard all right well, mate, one carrot. All right, see you later. Hello, folks. Wednesday. Told you I'd be back. Um, a couple of uh, jobs I need to do, and I've changed what I what else I'm going to do today. Uh, the cockpit floor is not sitting level, so it's actually impossible to pull the new bulkhead flush with it. So on the um, starboard side it needs unscrewing lifting by about a centimeter and then re-screwing um, and also a bit of excess glass on the port side which is impinging on the wiring looms for the engines uh, which run uh, above the headliner up to the helm via the head so i'm not going to put another coat of gel coat on what i'm going to do is um, sort the way that the cockpit hangs, trim that bit of glass back, and then I'm gonna do my best to actually fit the bulkhead. So let's get this unscrewed and see if we can just lift it a bit to deal with that gap. And uh, maybe move it that way a bit. I'll push the bulkhead back uh, up against this just to do a test measure. Um, and hopefully it's not all gonna fall to pieces and disintegrate. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Mm. 
lift it. Ooh, now I'm going to have to undo the other side as well. That's going to be awkward. What can we do about that, folks? So what I decided to do was to carry on preparing the bulkhead in the hope that I'd find some inspiration for fixing the cockpit problem. There was a piece of panel that needed trimming to ensure that when I did pull the bulkhead into place, the fit would be perfect. Uh, having just done a bit of a test fit, uh, there's a few bits of resin that I just need to zizz off that I must have dropped when I was um, glass, doing the glass yesterday. So I'm just gonna file those off and then we'll draw it in with some clamps on the top. Well, this is positively infuriating. It really is infuriating. As you can see on the top sides, it's an absolute perfect fit. It's beautiful. You know, it's really gonna take minimal effort to resin that in. But the cockpit floor, the alignment is dreadful. So um, the cockpit floor needs to be moved. I mean, it's not well fixed as it is. It's in a bit of a dreadful state all round, to be brutally honest. Um, but what I'm gonna do is cut some new uh, ply to go on the inside of the, the uh, shoulders where the top sides and the cockpit floor meet. While removing those old pieces of wood, I discovered that the back of the cockpit floor had been resined into the fixed glass above the engines. Cutting that out would mean that I'd be able to move the cockpit floor forward a few millimetres. Having freed the cockpit floor, I installed the replacement wood that its sides would screw into, holding it at the correct position. Then it was just a matter of screwing the cockpit floor into position. Okay, Oof. after a lot of grunt, the bulkhead is now fixed in place. I just need to resin top sides, shoulders, do the tabbing and some silk flex around the cockpit floor just so it's nice and uh, weather tight and the job is done. So uh, that's just wonderful, 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 wonderful. Oh yes, wonderful Jim. Oof, it's been very hard work, but we're so close now. And it's flying ant day. Happy flying ant day, everybody. <laughs> hey guys, Thursday. And uh, I've just tabbed in the bulkhead to the inside of the hull in the cabin. And thanks to the best in South Shields, East Coast Fiberglass Supplies, I have a lovely pot of glass bubbles, which I'm gonna use to mix up some gel coat based fairing compound which is what I'm gonna to use to seal the bulkhead to the top sides. So I've chucked some butyl tape um, on the cockpit floor sections um, rather than using uh, Silkaflex. A, because I don't wanna crack it open just for this little job, and B, because I don't want it to stick El Permanento, because we are, as previously stated, gonna be having to take the cockpit floor up at some point, so. This is gonna be really good fun because I've been looking forward to mixing my own fairing compound for a while, so I'm gonna document this quite carefully. In preparation for applying the gel coat, I knocked back some muck that was on the top sides and gave it and the bulkhead a good wipe over with some acetone, but unfortunately, here's where the footage ends due to wet camera syndrome. Well, folks, I'm afraid that this episode has come to a premature end due to a definite change in the weather. Um, we're alternating between quite strong winds and um, intense rain and then sunshine um, and so being outside with power tools is not a particularly good idea so I've just chucked some plastic over the over the door. The experiment with the fairing compound was actually going very very well. Um, it had set up nicely and actually to a certain extent self-leveled in spots. So um, I'm looking forward to coming back and giving that a bit of a sand at some point. Um, I will probably not come back until Saturday, Sunday or early next week. It's going to take me a long time to edit this episode together. So um, please do join us next time. Uh, we are making lovely, lovely progress. It's lots of fun, the stuff that we're doing at the moment. And our lovely 3M glass balls 
are going to do a fantastic job for us and also next time hopefully I'll be able to take these damn props out so I'm not confined in awkward corners trying to film inside the cabin. So see you next time, take good care of yourselves and be lovely to each other.